welcome to bsc statistics student in this class i explain changes in the coefficient of objective function cj in the post optimal analysis that is what would be the affect of uh, optimum solution uh, if uh, the coefficient of objective function some of the coefficient uh, of the objective function is going to be changed the structural changes I, I want to discuss here. You consider uh, a linear programming problem, maximize z is equal to cx, subject to the constraints ax is equal to b and x is greater than or equal to 0 in the matrix form. In which xb is the optimum solution we know and cb we are considering associated cost vector of the optimum solution. C is the cost function, cost vector and CB is only the cost vector of the optimum solution, right? And the optimum solution is XB is equal to B inverse B. Uh, recollect uh, uh, the optimum solution in the matrix notation, right? And C is the cost vector C1, C2, Cn, in which uh, if there is any change is observed, any particular change, if the change is observed in the coefficient CK, let it be CK among which C1, C2 and so on Cn, let us consider Ck is the uh, coefficient which is changed, which is changed in the cost vector C, let it be what is the change is going to be observed, let delta Ck be the amount added to the Ck, that is the change it is observed in the Ck, then the new value of ck is going to be considered as ck star is equal to ck plus delta ck clear so uh, ck is one of these particular coefficient uh, uh, in the objective function in which it is the change is going to be observed for example that it is let it be considered let it be ck plus delta ck the change is delta ck ck is uh, uh, the prior value right so now ck plus delta ck is the change the in which change is delta ck that is uh, you have to remember clearly now if you observe this uh, even after the uh, change in the coefficient ck because the ck uh, xb is independent of c the optimum solution will not change that is the first point you have to understand what is xb is an optimum solution is an optimum solution so if it is the optimum solution it does not depend on uh, the cost c okay it is independent of c therefore the xb do not change that is first th first change you have to observe and uh, now the optimality condition we have to check zj minus cj which is greater than or equal to 0 so even though by taking this particular change the optimality condition that is uh, the net evaluations must be greater than or equal to 0. It is going to be satisfied and before the changes in CK and need not, be, need not necessarily be, it is satisfied with CK, the changed as CK star. Hence, the variations in the vector C can be studied in the following two particular possible ways. So, what are the changes uh, in the CK, that is CK star in the CK? Uh, the ck star with the changes in the ck ck that is ck star now what we have to calculate uh, we have to keep uh, we have to maintain the optimality condition zj minus cj greater than or equal to 0 we have to maintain it for which uh, there, there are two possibilities uh, of changing this particular value you see the first one is ck is in c not in cb the whatever ck we have considered it is uh, uh, depending on the basis vector if uh, the whatever the ck it is uh, in the basis uh, cost matrix the cost matrix if it is in cb cb is nothing but uh, uh, the cost of basis matrix uh, that is basis uh, vectors uh, which means uh, xb in the cost coefficient of the basis matrix of the basis vectors of the basic variables till to speak clearly 
So CB is nothing but uh, the cost of the basic variables. If CK is not in CB, that is one particular and one particular case and CK is in CB, that is in the basis, it is in the basis, uh, it is for the basis variable. Whatever CK we have considered, if it is in the basis, it is uh, for the basic variables, it is not for in the basic variables. The cost, uh, it is not belongs to the uh, CB, not, it belongs to CB, there are two particular cases, okay. And now we study the cases, the case one, CK is not in CB, that is CK does not belong to CB. The net evaluation corresponding to CK star, that is only we are calculating. Now, if you calculate only the net evaluations in CK star, that is uh, corresponding to CK star. So, usually you have ZJ minus CJ, uh, J, J is equal to 1 to and so on N. You have to calculate uh, for all the variables net evaluations. Now, we are concentrating on, on only corresponding to CK star, in which you will have a corresponding uh, value in CK, in, uh, in CJ. One such value is CK, that is uh, change is CK star. So, that is we are calculating only the net evaluation for CK, corresponding to CK. That is let it be ZK star minus CK star. You uh, Before that it is ZK minus CK. Now, ZK star minus CK star we are calculating. What is ZK star minus CK star? It is ZK minus CK star changed, that is CK plus delta CK. Why it is ZK? Z is not changed, Z is not affected of any changes in CK, only CK is going to be changed. What is the change CK star? CK plus delta CK, right? So therefore, ZK minus CK plus delta, delta CK, right? That is what the uh, net evaluation for this. Therefore, the current uh, optimum basic feasible solution XB, which, is, which remains uh, optimum, if and only if of the new linear programming problem. So, by seeing this particular condition, if and only if uh, the net that is uh, the current uh, solution will be optimum solution, optimum solution for the new LPP, if and only if uh, that is uh, ZK star minus CK star is greater than equal to 0. Only provided if, if this is also greater than, greater than equal to 0, then all net valuations becomes net, greater than equal to 0. Clear? All net valuations become greater than equal to 0 provided if uh, ZK star minus CK star is also greater than equal to 0. That is what we are considering now, proving that uh, under which condition it is going to be greater than equal to 0. So, ZK star minus CK star is ZK minus CK plus delta CK. This is what? So, it is greater than equal to 0, which means uh, you keep ZK minus CK here and uh, take the minus delta CK right hand side, then it, will, it becomes delta CK, greater than equal to plus delta CK. So, our intention is to con calculate some condition on delta CK. So, delta CK must be, now it is less than or equal to ZK minus CK. Under this condition, all net value, this net evaluation ZK star minus CK star greater than or equal to 0, so that uh, all net evaluations are greater than or equal to 0, greater than or equal to 0, right. So, that is if delta K, delta CK is less than or equal to ZK minus CK, then the optimum solution as well as optimum value of the objective function will, will not be affected under this condition that is in case 1. What is case 1? CK does not belongs to CB in the basis, uh, uh, it is not the value in the basis uh, uh, variable or basis vector, okay. Uh, then in, in such case, uh, Z will not be affected but uh, uh, the net evaluation we have to see the net evaluation is going to be considered for all the net evaluation greater than equal to 0 if delta CK is less than equal to ZK minus CK. That is what you have to remember. And now the case 2. What is case 2? Case 2 is nothing but CK is in CB. CK is in CB. That is CK belongs to CB. That is CK whatever CK we have considered that is a change in of the uh, objective or coefficient of objective function that is uh, belongs to CB that is a, one of the value in the basics variable of the basic variable that is one of the value that is whatever CK it is one of the value the coefficient of objective function of the basic variable 
the net evaluation now uh, net evaluations before change in the uh, coefficient ck we are studying uh, the two conditions net evaluations and objective function z both you have to study right the first of all prior to that before changes in coefficient ck now what are, what are the net evaluations net evaluations are zj minus cj is equal to cbyj minus cj j is equal to 1 to n so on n what is cbyj formula summation i is equal to 1 to m cbi yij minus cj now i change this particular formula for the effect in the uh, effect of the C, ck the change in the ck you see here the net evaluations uh, after change in the coefficient ck with C, that is going to be considered as ck star after changes in the coefficient ck how it is going to be calculated it is nothing but cb summation cbi yiz now we are splitting judge we are considering it is zj star minus cj star as summation i is equal to 1 to m cbi yiz except i is equal to k i is not equal that is except i is equal to k it is going to be considered so i is not equal to k i is equal to k we are considering here because the change in the uh, coefficient is ck that is kth uh, variable that is a kth vector uh, in the particular entire matrix only the uh, i is equal to k that is ck uh, the coefficient of the variable in the basis now we are considering it is going to be affected that is i is equal to k that is we are separated here it is not included here that is why i not equal to k i is equal to 1 to m all the values here cbi yiz except i is equal to k i is equal to k we are writing here what is cbi for i is equal to k cbk plus delta cbk that is what changed this is the coefficient this is what the coefficient in the objective function so cbi for i is equal to k it is i is equal to k it is cbk plus delta cbk into ykz ykz i is equal to k therefore it is ykz you substitute i is equal to k here cbk ykj cbk cbk is changed as cbk plus delta cbk multiplied by ykj yij ykj clear minus cj hope you understand right now what i am considering here if now you please concentrate clearly what i am doing here cbk into ykj cbk into ykj I multiply and I add this in this particular value in this particular summation all the values this is one such value of i is equal to k so cbk ykz I am adding here so therefore it becomes now summation i is equal to 1 to m cbi yiz it includes including k what what is the part remaining that is delta cbk into ykz you see here hope you understand this is what what you have to understand clearly is only one particular part remaining you can easily understand summation i is equal to 1 to m cbi yiz which includes cbk into ykz i am taking in this particular summation including the value k i is equal to k and then delta cbk into ykj minus cj okay now you take minus cj here the cost of all the uh, matrix respectively j is equal to 1 to n and so on n so summation i is equal to 1 to m cbi yij minus cj this is what usual zj minus cj this is what zj minus cj plus delta cbk ykj so zj minus cj plus delta cbk ykj now it is simplified that only the in the part of zj star minus cj star we have zj minus cj addition to that plus delta cbk ykj that is what Additional computation required. Additional computation required for ZJ star minus CJ star. If CK was changed, which is belongs to CB, right? Now CBK is nothing but CK. CBK is uh, one of the value of CK. CBK is nothing but CK. It is also we are con we are considering that we are um, uh, we are considering and we are uh, we want to uh, indicate that it is in the basis CBK we have written. The same CBK is nothing but CK. There is no two separate costs um, for uh, uh, in, in the basis and not in the basis. The variables for in the basis and variables not in the basis. No, both are same. 
the cost is same for one particular variable. For example, x1 cost is c1, x2 cost c2, xn cost cn, like xk cost ck, that's all. That is, if it is in the basis, then we consider cbk. Therefore, cbk is equal to ck. Hope you understand. Then zj star minus cj star is equal to, now I am writing zj minus cj plus delta ck. Instead of cbk, I am writing delta ck by kj. Delta ck by kj. Now you see, the current basic feasible solution xb is to remain optimum solution even after the changes in ck. The delta ck must satisfy the optimality condition. What is the optimality condition? Zj star minus Cj star. This is to be considered as, this is to be proved as greater than or equal to 0. That is, uh, which means uh, we have to uh, show that all net evaluations are greater than or equal to 0. That condition we are considering. So, Zj star minus Cj star is greater than or equal to 0, which implies what is Zj star minus Cj star we have calculated? Zj minus Cj plus delta Ck by Kj is greater than or equal to 0. Which means now we are uh, calculating under which particular condition the optimality condition is going to be maintained. That is what we are we are looking for, right? Z J minus C J plus delta C K minus uh, delta C K into Y K J greater than equal to zero. Therefore, delta C K Y K J is greater than equal to minus Z J minus C J. What is our change? Delta C K. Keep here. Delta C K greater than equal to take this particular Y K J right hand side. Minus Zj minus Cj by Ykj. This is what the condition, actual condition. But uh, it changes for Ykj greater than 0, Ykj is less than 0. It changed, uh, this particular value is going to be changed for two different values. That is, uh, if Ykj greater than 0, this becomes greater than or equal to. Delta Ck minus, is greater than or equal to minus Zj minus Cj by Ykj. If Ykj is greater than 0. If Ykj is less than 0, then it becomes less than or equal to delta ck is less than or equal to minus zj minus minus of zj minus cj divided by ykj if ykj is less than zero these are the two particular uh, values which uh, uh, differ from uh, the va different values of ykj ykj is greater than zero then this is ykj is less than zero then this is now hope you understand therefore ykj is z minus of zj minus cj divided by ykj for this condition delta ck lies in between these two okay because you see here it is very clear that delta ck it is less than or equal to minus zj minus cj divided by ykj you see here minimum of we are considering this is the less than or equal to the minimum value of z minus of zj minus cj by ykj ykj less than zero and this is what the maximum value you see if which implies uh, minus of zj minus cj divided by ykj which is uh, less than or equal to delta ck clear from this this is greater than or equal to this therefore minus of zj minus cj divided by ykj less than or equal to delta ck for which among uh, the values of uh, j we have to consider maximum value among this maximum value will be less than or equal to that is the reason we are specifying clearly that maximum of minus zj minus cj by ykj for which ykj greater than 0 is less than or equal to delta ck is less than or equal to minimum of minus of zj minus cj divided by ykj ykj less than 0. This is what the condition. If delta ck lies in between these two, then zj, ZJ star minus cj star will be greater than or equal to 0. That is what our optimality condition is going to be considered. Optimality is going to be satisfied for the net evaluation greater than or equal to 0 if this maximum maximize uh, that is uh, ma maximum we have to consider maximum of minus of zj minus cj divided by ykj ykj greater than 0 less than or equal to delta ck less than or equal to minimum of minus zj minus cj by ykj ykj less than 0 this is what the uh, condition for delta ck to uh, satisfy the optimality to or to maintain the optimality so finally what is our objective to keep the net evaluations greater than or equal to 0 all net evaluations greater than or equal to 0 all net evaluations greater than or equal to 0 obviously only the only the uh, corresponding value of ck because ck is going to be changed so in which uh, ck no problem and delta ck is the change in the uh, ck ck plus delta ck for which delta ck must lies in between these two then only it maintains the optimality.
clear now the objective function what is the value of objective function you see here the value of the objective function is going to be considered as the new value of the objective function becomes z star is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to k again what is the formula of z c b x b this is the formula of z in which uh, summation i is equal to 1 to k c b i x b i that is the for all the values except i is equal to k that is i is not equal to k the i is equal to k c b c b that is c b k c b i c b k c b k is nothing but c b k plus delta c b k with the change this is what uh, uh, the coefficient factor is going to be coefficient uh, one of the coefficient mat, uh, uh, coefficient value that is a coefficient of objective function is going to be changed coefficient of objective function is going to be changed c b k plus delta c b k multiplied by x b i x b k okay so that this is nothing but entire is in summation c b i x b i i is equal to k here remaining all values here so again i am considering c b k x into x b k i am taking this particular summation summation i is equal to 1 to m c b i x b i plus delta c b k x b k this is what additional value so this is what z this is what z z plus delta c b k x b k z plus what is c b k i am writing c k delta c k x k right so this is the value of z star z star therefore z star is equal to z plus delta c k x k that is only the thing you have to add delta c k multiplied by x k so this is what the change in the objective function that is uh, what you have to see the improved it that the objective function the value of the objective function it is improved an amount of delta c k x k delta c k into x k this is what delta c k into x k hope you understand this is what the uh, post optimal analysis or sensitivity analysis for the changes in the coefficient of objective function cj thank you thank you very much